know the gang, know the gang, know the gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over what I have been using to make profit. If you're new to the channel, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and turn your notifications on. Let's get into some shout out. We got a shout out for Jack Sign, shout out for J O, and shout out for Madeira 666. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, be active, and say Nodi Game. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. So the first thing I've been doing to make coins, as you can see, we are up almost 575,000 coins from yesterday's video. We are at 1.1 million coins. And then we still have another 300,000 coins in the binder. What I've been doing is I've been creating the Justin Jeffersons. I've been sitting on the auction house later on in the evening when I feel like it's less competition and I've been sniping pieces. Now, what I've realized is if you can get a 93 snipe or your 91 snipes, that's going to take about eight to nine thousand coins off your overall margin. OK, so any kind of snipe that you can get at the higher point will help your profit margin out now when i was doing the justin jefferson the justin jefferson was going for about 316 000 coins so i was building him for about 294 000 coins and then you have an additional 28 to 29 000 on his power up i was making them for about 294 298,000. So when you take taxes off of the 350,000, that's going to be 35,000 off. That's going to leave you with about a 22 to 25,000 coin profit. Now, as the market trendle down and the cards lose value, right now, while we are making this video, that same card, Justin Jefferson, is going for about 293,000, 294,000. So all it takes is three to four hours for prices to fluctuate. Now, he was going for about 243,000 in the first two hours after release. Then he shot up to about 348, 350,000 in about one or two hours. So all you got to do is you got to pay attention to the trend on the market and then you got to take advantage of certain cards okay so if you do them sets make sure that you can get one or two good snipes as you can see we have this 96 overall justin jefferson right here that i'm going to actually quick sell for training so he's at 303,000. so he just dropped about two hours ago to 292 293,000. now he's getting closer back up to what I was able to sell the other two for 315 318 plus you still have his power up that's another 25 to 28,000 coins now also you can have a chance at pulling limited so if you want to get cheap cheap training you can do like I did I started off with about 80 to 100,000 training got that very very cheap for like 360 370 thousand coins and then I just come in here and I do the tab method what I mean by that is I will go into defense I will pull my defense I will quick sell it the game has been kind of laggy the past 12 hours and then I would tab over everything feature training special offers I would tab go back in pull another pack and you know what sometimes you get a little glitchy and you get a 97 overall Debo Samuel. I was able to pull two Debo Samuel 97 overalls with that method. Now, I'm also going to turn around. Like I said, every time I get up to about 800,000 coins, I always invest back into my team. A lot of people be asking me, why do I only have 300,000 coins and a 93 overall team? Well, I have the Lions team team. The Lions theme team is one of the worst theme teams in the game. I don't have 
all 98 and 99 overalls in every position because EA does not know how to balance the card content. I'm still sitting with 94 and 93 linemen, 94 overall tight ends, my highest wide receiver is still a 97, hasn't got an upgrade. Roy Williams will be the first 99 wide receiver once he get an upgrade. This is what my team is looking like. I don't have the Seahawks and I'm not going to bandwagon another theme team which is going to help EA generate more money. I still have a gold on the field when I'm in the red zone. This is what the defense is looking like. We got a 98 overall, Bernie who just came out. He's our best cornerback. I got a Philly and Ramsey right here for free. I got a Philly and Youngblood for free. I can make this team play just like somebody who's spending their credit card or a lot of money and has a 96, 97 overall team. It don't matter the overall and the players. You don't need the best players. If you know three or four glitchy offensive plays and three or four glitchy defensive plays and you can shut down trips tight in and gun bunch your percentage of winning goes up to 90 95 percent madden is not skill whatsoever but madden is fun when you are flipping coins and making coins the key to making coins right now is opening the 500 coin pack because the value of a lot of cards is so high then you want to snipe if you complete in any of the sets make sure that you can get your 93 overall and your 291 overalls for the best price possible okay so this team of the year defense we get a daniel hunter right here and i'm just going to go ahead and quick sell him now if i am able to get the forest buckner then I will keep the Forrest Buckner because that's actually the card that I want. Now this one is 42,000 training compared to the 40,000 training. And right there, we do get the Forrest Buckner. So that's the card that I wanted. He's a defensive tackle, very, very glitchy. Still have 22,000 training left over from quick selling that card that I had, okay? So now I can use that 22,000 training to power up my DeForest Buckner and that's going to help my Lions theme team out tremendously. Take advantage of the 500 coin pack. It's a lot of value in there right now while the market is up. Also, go in there, snipe you some pieces, complete some of the sets, walk away with an easy 20 to 25,000 profit. Make sure that you're doing the cornerback, the wide receiver Justin Jefferson. Go on the auction house and see who has the best profit margin and make sure that you are spending low and selling high. Let's get it.